long considered to be an elite class sport. Tennis became very popular in the 90s, thanks to these guys becoming pop culture phenoms. To the point where advertisers made tennis their number one source of income. Or what? We even have former champions who linked up to make one of the top power couples in Hollywood. Borderline. <laughs> Fast forward 20 years later, and Roger Federer is as popular worldwide as Cristiano Ronaldo is. Here in Rwanda, tennis became accessible to the ordinary amateur in the late 90s. Professionals started participating in continental competitions and the sport took off. These days, many have called out the Rwandan Tennis Federation, saying the support the players once had is long gone and complaining about not being able to participate in African competitions like they used to. I started out in 1995. To this day, I've represented Rwanda in many African competitions. But I've sort of given up on the competitive side of things due to lack of support. At Cercle Sportif, one of many clubs with tennis clay courts in Kigali, professional players have swapped their career hopes for a quick dollar fix. They've all become coaches and their competitive fire is long gone. When we're supposed to participate in African competitions, something always comes up, usually on the financial side of things. And that makes the country look bad because we get fined for not participating in these tournaments. The competitive spirit may have been affected but these tennis lovers are far from being discouraged and still hope that the sport can get back to the level it once was.